We all know about Woodstock, the 1969 music festival held in upstate New York. We know about the music, but what do we know about Max Yasker, the man who leased his farm for the festival? If it weren't for this dairy farmer, there would have been no festival. What became of Max Yasker, the groovy farmer? First of all, could I please ask for a favor? If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I appreciate it. Max Bernard Yasger was born in 1919 to Russian immigrant parents in New York City. His family moved to Sullivan County in the Catskills when he was very young. In 1940, he married Miriam Miller and they settled down on a farm in Bethel, New York to raise their family and dairy cows. Fast forward to 1969. He was approached by a conglomerate organizing a music and arts festival and readily agreed to lease them a large portion of his dairy farm, the part that had the perfect slope, a natural bowl that would be perfect for a natural amphitheater. The decision to offer up his land for the festival was great for music and cultural history, but unfortunately, it was a terrible decision for Max Jasger and his family. He became a hero to half a million young people attending the festival, calling him the groovy farmer. His fellow farmers and local Sullivan County residents, however, turned their backs on him. A year after the festival, in August of 1970, Yasger was quoted in the newspaper as saying, I got into a festival for 40,000 people. I would not get into this again, only because I don't think the roads around here can handle it. But I'm glad I did it. I think the whole world learned a lesson from Woodstock. He was impressed that a half a million kids were mostly peaceful. He sincerely believed that they practiced peace and brotherhood. He was way ahead of his time. They loved him for it. He got thousands of letters from grateful attendees, many addressed to the groovy farmer. He appeared on the Merv Griffin Show and had offers from Johnny Carson and David Suskind. Neighbors, however, were not happy. They complained of damaged property and massive littering and the traffic. Small two-lane roads in every direction backed up for miles and miles. By October of 1971, the Yazgers decided to leave Sullivan County and their beloved farm. They put their 500-acre farm up for sale, asking about $1,000 an acre for the land, three homes, two barns, two ponds, and a stream. Max, who was only 50 years old at the time, said that he had a heart attack a couple of years prior and his health led to his decision to move. That would have meant his heart attack happened close to the time of the Woodstock Festival. Max and his wife Miriam left the farm and went to the Florida Keys while the farm was up for sale. He died there on February 9, 1973. He was 53 years old. He is buried in the Jewish Aid Cemetery in Monticello, New York, near where he grew up, raised a family, and made history.